Hey guys, how's it going? Ghostly Rich here with a video today on basically getting all your devices to sync up together. As you can see, we have our TV. I'm going to show you how to do it with your uh, laptop. And I have an iPhone here. And I also have an Android phone, the uh, S3. So, what we're going to do is, first things first, is we need to make sure your TV is connected to the internet. Also, make sure your smartphones are connected to the internet, and of course, your computer. They all can be on Wi-Fi, that's usually, you know, you can just do that. Or with your TV, as you can see there, under the Batman symbol, I have a router and I have everything hardwired except for my TV because my TV, I don't do much of the smart features with because they're super slow. Um, I usually just use either the PS3 or the uh, Xbox. It's the easiest way to go. Anyways, but if you are having troubles doing this, uh, press home or menu and as you can see here I go to this screen with you if you press menu you should go right to the menu I press uh, setup if you press menu and you're in a, and you have a Samsung it should be up just like this there's usually always a network button all you'll do is you go to network settings choose wireless put in your username and your password for your wireless if you have it installed from a uh, internet company usually they'll put the name and password on a sticker on your router I don't know you might but you have to be able to track down that information if not the other thing you can do is if your routers is close you can always direct connection for best results especially if you're using Netflix and everything this will give you much better connection if you're using an amplifier make sure you have an optic cable going down from the TV into your amplifier so that way you uh, can get sound through your home audio system if you're trying to depend on arc it might not be the best thing because I've seen ARC be very flaky because as we all know brands all talk different languages as I put it so if you have an LG hooked up to a Samsung receiver it can do some funky things um, if you have HDMI control on I have a video on that you can check it out I even have a video on how to wire up a receiver you can check that out um, so first things first uh, after you have your TV connected to the network in some way once it's plugged into the internet I'll show you how to do it with your phone. This is the easiest. As you can see here, I'm going to show you gallery. And we have a Sony picture here. You can just select it. Once you're here, you'll notice that there's this little TV screen. It shows a one there. That means there's one device on the network. For that, that's my TV, which it's finding right now. So we'll click on that little TV. Let me get that back up there. And after we click that, Let me exit out of this for a sec because I already did this with this image, so it might need me to reboot once we do that. Boom. As you can see, all I did was exit out of the picture, went back in, and now we have it downloading to the TV, and it should pop up in a second. Yay, Sony. Only if you rip it with tape, it says anus. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the other thing you can do, of course, is you can do the same thing with uh, this and heck let's throw up a picture I took of the new Ford Focus I took this over at the Ford dealership the other day as you can see loading and yay there's our Ford Focus and so on I mean if you go through you'll see that this that little uh, TV screen option is under music so if you go into your music player um, you can see it's right there in the corner once again you click that and it'll play a song and same with movies you click that movies on your phone and then it'll download and run it now when you're doing video you definitely want to try and get a direct connection because there's a lot of information being sent through that signal now I'm gonna quickly show you with the iPhone I also have a video on how to do this so I probably won't show you too much um, you're gonna need something called iMedia share uh, it's free just type it in the App Store iMedia share Lite. Once you've uh, clicked on that, see here it's going to go through my Wi-Fi here, and I can do my photos, my music, or my videos. Well, we're not going to really do any of these because I'm not allowed to. Copyright issues. But, yeah, if you had any phones or any photos and stuff, you can go through there and add photos, and same with videos, and stuff like that. But, uh... 
yes, you do have to do some settings on it. Like I said, if you are interested on doing this, I have another portion and another video on this, which I can actually tag right here, and it will show you how to do this through your iPhone or your iTouch or anything else Apple pretty much except for I don't know about uh, iMacs as you can see something's trying to co connect with my computer here something Darwin Oh, alright so next thing you're going to need is on your PC you should have Windows Media Center if you click on this just give it a sec to load up so pretty. Continue. Custom. As you can see, it's going to tell you it needs to require to set up. It's going to go through some stuff. Next. Nah, I don't want to join. Thanks. Whatever. We're just going to say I've finished. But that's where you can upload stuff. As you can see here, picture library and videos. I'm going to click on pictures here, and it's going to show me the pictures that it found on my PC. If you haven't done this yet, go to that last tab where I just was, and literally it'll say, ask if you can check your libraries and say, sure, why not? So I'm going to bring up uh, one of my albums here. Let's go to Whistler. You can see all my photos are here from when I did the uh, Whistler Olympics. Here, this is of a dog. One of the mates there had a dog, and I took a picture of it. And as you can see, it's right here. Now, I don't know if I can do it with this one. Okay, so that's how I can look it up, but I don't think I can send it over this way. Okay, as you can see, this is all here anyways. And now that my Windows Media has picked it up, we should be able to see this all in the other portion of this. Now it's looking for any other shared content. As you can see, showing Richard PC. Because that's my PC name. Now we're going to go to press the input button. As you can see, there's DLNA again, favorite friend. We'll go here, and you should be seeing this. We'll go to shared content, and we'll go to images, and heck, let's just click uh, folder. Let's go to cars. This is mainly all the uh, photos that I took while I was making videos of my car. takes a second to load and there you go you can scroll through this is a neat feature so you can show uh, pictures to your family now I'm gonna zoom in just for a sec on that bar down below as you can see we have some eco features some BGM and the coolest feature if you all your family has some 3d glasses you can always uh, rock out to some 3d images 2D to 3D, it'll try and make it 3D anyways. Yeah, there you go. This is how you do it with your PC. I'll show you one other thing you can do. Um, another software you can use if uh, this isn't working well for you. You just, you know, all in all don't like trying to use this. Uh, another type of software you can use is AllShare. You can actually download this and it'll work with any TV. A lot of people think that you can only use this with... Um, with Samsung TVs, but no, you can use it with LGs and everything. All you do is download it, it'll ask you to upload your libraries and go from there. Now make sure when you're uploading all your uh, libraries that you actually um, go through and make sure that you know you don't accidentally click on some albums you might not want your family to uh, see. I don't know if you're in the homemade porn business or something, but just make sure that you're going through and you know, just in case someone clicks on your button. And after that, I mean, that's it. And I'll show you one other spot in control panel just in case you're having any problems. Um, we will actually, let me get out of here. We're going to just go to control panel. And there will actually be a 
button under control panel for shared settings and stuff like that. Sorry, I'm just taking a look for it right here. Networking and sharing. And after you've clicked this, you can choose here what you want. Choose home and sharing. Make sure this shit's all checked if you want to be able to share everything. Yay. I've got it all checked. And the last but not least thing, um, if you still have any problems getting your TV to sync up with even your phones and everything like that, best thing to do, unplug your router. Uh, 30 seconds later, plug it back in and try then because I've seen that that's number one problem. And if it you're still having problems from there, you're going to want to contact whoever set up your network and go from there because he's going to have to go through the settings and make sure you have sharing enabled and everything like that. Anyways, if you have any questions, post in the comment section below. I'll try and help you as we go. And uh, if you like this video, like and subscribe. Thank you very much.